Hey everybody! Welcome to the Perfect Pair. I'm Tangerine. I'm Marty. And today is what is today? Sunday the twelfth. Yes, the 12th. June twelfth. We are actually twelve days away from my birthday. <laughs> So, I'm so excited about that, June 24th. Everybody remember, it's the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hey, Amen. It's on a Friday this year. My hair sweated out. I had to put on the ponytail today, but we're going to make it happen. I have something new for next week. Okay. Okay. So, so we're going to get to show on the road. With her, no further ado, let's get this party started. Um, I actually made the post for the cocktail this week, and we are having a My Georgia Peach. And um, you have all the ingredients. I'll show you how to make it here. But My Georgia Peach. You're going yes. to need a muddler and a shaker um, and jigger to make this at home. Okay. So you'll put slices of peach in the shaker. And then, you know, just shake that so the juice can come, not shake it, but muddle that so the juice can come out. Okay. I was shocked to see a peach on the shelves. Well, oh, at no, the pe store. Peaches is out now. You know, I don't be at the stores. Oh, um, yeah, I'm there. Okay. And then you're going to have one teaspoon of lemon juice. But, you know, it's two of us, so y'all know what that means. Double it up. And today, we are going to try to monitor the drinkage today. Mm -hmm. We are going to try to monitor this. We have to. We have to. Yeah. So, we're going to limit this to like two. To two. To two. So, then we have simple syrup, which is one ounce per cocktail. And then we're going to have Crown Royal Peach. Mm. My favorite. Two and a half ounces, but it's two of us. So that means five ounces goes into. Hey, mom. Into. So let me tell you about this one right here. Mm -hmm. So like last week, I told her that I was limited to one. I wasn't drinking like I usually do on the show. No, -uh, she, see, she making it. See, she about to make it sound real. Uh -uh. This is what she said. I'm about to tell y'all what she said. I'm going to tell y'all exactly how she said it. Marty, when we on the show, I'm just going to have one drink because I got a real job and I'm a professional and I can't be out there like that. So we going to do better on the show. Okay, then, friend. So I bought a swallow of liquor. She did. I bought a swallow. And guess what she did when she came, when I came in? Uh-uh. We having some. Okay, then. Because she posted yesterday that this was a drink, and she know Crown Royal Peach is my favorite. I love peach stuff. Oh, okay. so but I thought we was being professional. But, like, we got to start doing, like, some drinks that's not good. We don't got too many of them at the shake and enjoy uh company. We don't have them. So like we don't have kamikazes. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but like we need to do like maybe do wine one day. I won't do okay, a lot of wine. So maybe that. like wine and but we, mimosas, but we can't add nothing to the mimosas. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's and that's do gonna that. keep us together because let's I saw one show. Mm -mm. Nope, y'all not about to have me out here feeling good and okay. talking to us. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. The juice gets you loose. So that's what we're going to do. So I just shook those and now. Mm, I'm going to put the, um, the ingredients up one more time for everybody if you did not get it. This is what we're having, my Georgia peach. Um, we have Crown Royal Peach, Peach Slices, um, Lemon Juice, and Simple Turtle. Mmm. All my favorite ingredients in one. Girl! Out. It won't come out. It's in her stuff. I would, this is what she gave me. Do y'all see this? It's not even a taster. What is these shenanigans, Marty? Even come out of here. She 
shit and she's shaking it's gonna make more juice. I know like here take mine yes. take mine she already know and I snuck in a second bottle just because I keep the ground peach on deck uh she did. So she snuck in a second it's not a full bottle though but it'll do okay all right you ready wait let me put up shaking and joy in the little caption sorry <laughs> we was doing so much talking I forgot to put that all right. Cheers. Cheers. And that's some good stuff. <laughs> and mine, this not this not for you because this is sweet. This is sweet, mine. This is sweet. This not so for you. it is real sweet, so I won't drink a lot. So what I have started doing what? is limiting the sugar in my mixes okay. with my drink. That'll help. That'll help. So when I got surprised with some tequila one day, they bought sugar-free red bull. So that made it better. She's on. She's on the show, everybody. <laughs> We're back. This is our time. So, um, anything else with shaking and joy, my darling? No, no, no. I am going to put my head down for the next couple weeks because I have a lot of things planned, mm -hmm. and we are going to be rolling. So, I will see you all in the world and on the show. Okay. So, and with that, let's move on to she's. Press. She's press segment. My favorite part of the show. <laughs> so, uh, as you all know, with She's Press, I did retire from doing nail clients uh, when COVID hit. So, after 24 years, I said deuces, and that's when I came out with the press online. But this week, I had a prom, and I was doing nails again. And y'all, it felt really good to just sit there and do some nails and fabulous. So today, and I am making these into a set. And the set will be called Prime Night. Ooh, okay. baby. Listen here. I didn't get a chance to get a good look at them. Those are Let's look at them. What the different size stone. This is what you call Blink Alicious. Okay, so the hot, so the nail, the clear nail. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the foundation that you start yes, on. Okay. The foundation. All right. And then it's just rhinestone. So it's, mm -hmm. it puts me in the mind of the other one that you have. Ice me out. Uh-huh. But these are just big rhinestones, yes. like and um purple. And it matched. I should have put a picture of her dress up. It matched her dress perfectly. Okay. Okay. So shout out to Paige. She showed me this design and wanted a custom order. Okay. So made it happen. Shout out to all the prom attendees and everything that had this thing going on. Listen, y'all know I got to brag on my nephew. <laughs> so my middle ne nephew, Devin, went to prom yesterday for um, Cass. And I did he not? She was about to say the other I did. I almost did. I think all this yellow and gold got to my head. I was about to. I don't know what was going on. But he showed up and showed. I should have had a picture on here, too. Like... You are in control, in control. Of, I am. I am in control you are of it. In control of the visuals here. Listen, you, you ain't got to say nothing but a word. Hello. Cause Auntie is about to put it up. Hello, my baby. He did really well. I was proud of him. He looked good. And to all our viewers, we've been seeing your kids, you know, go to prom and send dolls and everything. I didn't know it was so many thrones around town. Listen, I here. get me one too and rent it. You won't. <laughs> you won't get one and rent it. Yeah. Oh, you can rent it out, but you can't be taking pictures and have it in your house. I won't allow you to do that. But yes, he showed up and showed out. Um, he did ask Auntie Sean for a room. And so I was like, don't be asking her. Don't ask me for anything. So when he said, Auntie Tangerine, I want a room, I said, it's going to be a no for me, y'all. Aww. Would you have got your son a room? No way. You mm. gotta turn that rental car into the uh, motel, but they ain't getting no room. And everybody was like, oh, you should have got him a room. I'm not. I don't care what the kids are doing on their time, but on my time, uh, auntie is not getting a room the for kids a kid. or the other parents. Like, I don't care. I don't, I, so my son went to prom his 11th grade year and 12th grade year. Okay. And 12th grade year, the young lady uh, asked politely asked us to drop her off at the day's end, and my son stayed right in the car with me. Go, go, good Wait night, a minute, huh? good night, young you lady. Picked him up? I picked him up from the prom. I forgot how they got to the prom. 
I forget how they got to the prom, but I picked them up um, from the prom and I took her and him, you know, he escorted her to the door of the hotel and he rolled back home with me. Wait a minute. So y'all, are you up here chaperoning from prom? I sure did. But, but, but my son, I was coming to get my kid. Oh, you said he was in 11th he's grade. He was in 11th grade. Okay, okay, I got you. She wasn't about to get mine trapped up like that. Did he go to prom on tour? Yep, he did. He, and he drove. Okay. He drove himself. Okay. And he did the, the room. room. Oh, no. I just told you. You turned that, that Escalade into a hotel for all I care, but you ain't getting no room. No, because they can get... uh. If you get caught doing it in the car, you know. Yeah, you gonna be on the uh, on the list. list. So uh, choose wisely. And so I did have to tell my ne- the youngest nephew yesterday, like that he wanted to use the restroom outside. And I said, if you get caught by a police officer, do you know you can have to sign up for the sex registry? And that's indecent exposure. It's so indecent people exposure. Tell your kids. And y'all, as grown adults, y'all don't want to just be out here trying to use the bathroom and then you go to jail. But then you got a ticket. You got a ticket. <laughs> you you gonna, you're going to get a ticket. So, you're going to get a ticket. It's not worth it, people. No. And not. here is Mr. Prime. Ooh, that boy was clean. Let me tell you. Them the auntie, them the glasses auntie bought. He had them on all night. Good looking out. That's good, made my it's money. It's a good mm-hmm. picture. It's a good picture. Mm. It's a good. One. And it was like textured. Oh yeah, he yeah, was feeling himself. Yeah, the, the the suit was really nice. I really liked the suit. We was feeling it. So I should have posted his date too, but I didn't. Okay. It's, it's about a nephew. I don't know if her parents give her permission to be on nationally syndicated television. Yes, this is a nationally uh, watched television program. So yeah, so. <laughs> That was it. They had drones. Like, so this is a new thing. Mm-hmm. When you go to prom, the schools have like a uh, drive up or uh, something where you drive to the school so parking lot. This is new for, this is new in this area because the first time I saw that was a school in Pontiac. Oh, somebody said a, Flint. A Pontiac school, maybe Pontiac and Flint do it, but I know a Pontiac school because I had a co worker, um, mm-hmm. Leticia. She, her daughter, when her daughter went to prom, everybody gathered up, but it wasn't at the school. It's just like this lot, like in the center of downtown Pontiac. Uh, and it's like and, a big deal. Yeah, and everybody show up and you watch all the kids. You know, I thought it was really nice, but I, I think I think these type of things, we ain't been on the air in so long, people think we still yeah, I'm not in the world. But yeah, um, but I think it, I think it's really nice for all the parents. You can see other kids, you know, because sometimes you can't make it to everybody's um send off you can't make it to everybody true. send off um i have been to send offs and you get to one place and you got to run to the next place because you're trying to see them mm-hmm. like and the kids want to get out and go you know they want to rat around for a little bit they want everybody to see them. yeah so <sighs> this congratulations was, to it, everybody i just gotta tell you this, a couple what? of things what? besides the drones mm-hmm. this was the first time in real life that i was able to touch a maybach a maybach truck Listen here, never seen one in real life, and it was so out cold. They had Maserati trucks, Porsche trucks, Lamborghini trucks. It was like two or three G wagons. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the other truck? And I said, "Oh, this is a Bentley truck. Oh, that is nice. I have to get my life together." <laughs> so it was every expensive car that you could think of. Uh-huh. I know my co-host here. She likes fancy things. Fancy schmancy. This is right up my alley. I was fancy trying to flirt with the man in the car. <laughs> she likes fancy things. I mean, this is nice. I'm just waiting on the one day when a kid show up with a helicopter. I'm just waiting on. Oh, I've seen kid. that before. And I'm waiting on that. And I'm also waiting on a kid to do like a yacht type of thing. You got to have it off the water though. Yeah, but you know. I mean, they did tear down the one place. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They had um, horse and carriage. Mm-hmm. One girl had her dress in all these flowers. She had like the photographer bought the big light, mm-hmm. and she had people holding sides like with her name, like prom send off in her picture, talking about Barbie that. When I say I said, oh, <laughs> she did not come to play. So I this was an event. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to one in three years. But it should be an event because this is big for kids. And, you know, just this season is big. Um, 
Shout out to um, friend of the show, G West. His son graduated high school this weekend. Um, shout out to uh, an additional friend of the show. Um, his son graduated. Um, Alex, his son graduated from high school. So yeah, yeah. All the graduates. All the, graduates. All the parents aunties uncles yes everybody that contributed to these kids lives mm -hmm. congratulations to you all so you know so, yeah. we we did just flip it i just we started did. talking that was like current events but <laughs> oh no the current events portion is, is serious yeah. let's go first of all we want to say happy pride month to everybody we should have more colorful today we didn't think about didn't it, think it about right so happy pride month mm -hmm. um to everybody and since we're going to be talking about dating, I think this is a good current event that we talk about the three relationships that we have watched this week. Oh, girl, I thought you was about to give us some JG. I was about to no. say, oh, 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 girl. <laughs> no, not even. Okay. So um, we have Lori Harvey and Michael B. George. Okay. They broke up. We have Sierra and Russell Wilson, who has surprised her. Um, unexpectedly. And then we also have the relationship of who else was in the relationship news this week? Was it, what's his name? Steph Curry's parents. Oh, yeah. That are dating yeah. former married couple. Like, yeah. what's happening there? So, mm. Oh, one more relationship. Oh, Carisha and Diddy. Because he's single. Uh, but they go together. <laughs> what is we? What is we? That's the question. <laughs> what is we? Real bad. Everybody is the summer, and we about to find out if it's best to be in a relationship or single for our topic. So that's what you may have to ask if you want a relationship or you want to know if you're not in one. What is we? Or is he single, but y'all really, really go Have down. you ever uh, been in a relationship with somebody that was single? Yeah. I have too. <laughs> I think somebody was in a relationship with me and I was single. It's a common thing now. Like we go together. Cause in my head, yeah, we go together. <laughs> Cause the way you say ahead of me was like because man. the way you be calling me. You see what I'm saying? Like no we way. go together. No way. You may not know it, but in my head, you should know it. Yeah, but we go together. Yeah. So no, no, let me see you out with nobody else. <laughs> I don't even think that you talking to nobody. Exactly. So like that was. So those are the three relationships. Um, we've been getting a little backlash this week about Lori Harvey's. <sighs> she's 25. Yeah, I mean, she's 25. He's 35. This is why I don't date really older men because y'all on different wavelengths. Sometimes y'all could be on the same playing field. She like, I'm hot. I, I'm out here and I want to just be fun. He want to start a family, have kids, get married, and she like, this, this is not what I'm ready for. Let me, let me tell you, when you see Michael B. Jordan in a movie, like, what was it, Jordan's Journal and the other movie, like, all the movies that he's in when he's in a relationship, you can tell he loves love. You, he not That's not no performance. That's how he want to be. He want to come home to a wife. He wants some kids and stuff. Now, what I feel that Lori did that was wrong was... You got to keep these things up the, at the forefront. Like, I don't want, I don't yep. want that. We talked about that before. I don't want that. And I feel like the further they got into the relationship, I don't think she was making herself clear mm -hmm. about what her intentions were in that space. Like, she just wanted to have a good time and just, you know, how long they could go. Like, and we still don't know the details of the breakup, but I mean, I was 25. Sometimes you don't want, and maybe she don't have. She's not going to have to have this serious conversation with herself this week, this year. But maybe further along the line, she's gonna be like, I should have just took him up on this offer. But I, I'm, you got out before it got super duper serious. Oh yep. well. Then I heard he cheated on her. That's why she broke up with him. I don't know, but hey, to each his own. You have to do your own thing in relationships. To. You have to. And you have to be happy. Yes, you can't listen to people because at the end of the day, gotta be happy. we don't have to lay down and do what you do and live your life. No. So, psh, makes for good entertainment. Yeah. But do you, boo? Yeah. 
how do you feel about Russell um, Wilson? I love Russell Wilson. This I had to give her that one. Because <laughs> you, know, you know I love love and romance. It's so cute. And he surprised her with these big old flowers. And it was like, oh, you surprised me. I love you. And she jumped into his arms. And she was so excited. Have you ever jumped into somebody's arms? I have. And I really? So, and we went together. We went together. Really? I mean, I don't, they were single. But we went together when I, yep, you know, I jumped. I said, wow, we went together. Mm -hmm. I've done it before, but I ain't even really know. We went together. <laughs> so, well, if not here, we might go together. No, no. <laughs> in, in my head, I just be like, that is. So, that was, and then, you know, Steph Curry's parents, they found love again after mm. their divorce. But it seemed a little fishy because how they started dating. The ex, ex to ex. yeah, like they dating an ex couple. Yeah, so the husband is dating the ex wife. They were like friends, and they were all in the same circle. I mean, I feel like they should just tell us they were swingers. Mm. Because how you know the same? Like this whole town, y'all end up together. Like it don't make no. It's not the math ain't mathing for me. I'm sorry, it ain't. But it's it ain't yeah. mathing for me. Interesting. So that's that's what I'm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then what was the it's, other relationship? It's, it, it was different. It was you a, had one more. Oh, Carisha and Car baby. Listen, she put him to the fire. Okay? She put him to the fire. She said, she said, well, what, what do you do? You know, and we go to church. She said, <laughs> church? <laughs> lying. We didn't went to church. I'm going to take you to church. And then um, it was the way that he was smiling at her. Yeah. Like, I rarely see him smile like that like he is smitten with that girl he likes her he likes we're her. Little young to he I love like her. her he like her and she when she said we go together he was like what what and she was like we go he was like we go together and she's like real bad she told him <laughs> and i end up on your hood too because i'm gonna knock on your door <laughs> Lie. It was everything you needed it to be. It was everything you needed it to be. So if you haven't seen Carisha, please, you can YouTube it. Yes. It's on Revolt. Yes. Um, it was really cute. It was only like 30 minutes. Yes, but give it a shot. It I is. mean, give it a give it a listen. You know, it is what they were. She he was her first guest. Yes. So yeah, I really liked it. I um, did too. I thought it was good for her. I did. And I, I was smiling. Like, I was there. Like, <laughs> what in the world is going on? You know, because the new song is going to be F it up for the summer. <laughs> so they go F it up. We going to see. Um, I I like I like them two together. I don't, I don't, so, know. I don't know. But then you got that. Was That's a young girl with an old man. Like, is he going to get to the point where he want to settle down and she not or vice versa? I don't know. I think he liked his city girl action. He might like I the city girl action, but in real life, what if she ready to start settling down soon? And he like, I'm Diddy. I'm love. I don't, Ooh, know. I don't, I don't know. know about them two. I, so, I don't know about them two. Something, it's something very um, attractive about them two. It's like they, they got something. They got chemistry. They got chemistry. Like I didn't see, I've never, I never saw him interact with Cassie like that. But then we see a lot of interaction. Like we never seen like him just like talking. Like we see him walking in the place. But I'm gonna say this: Cassie looks happier now than she did when she yeah. was with him. Something about that, Diddy. You can't be in a relationship or make a um, record with him. I don't understand. <laughs> Man, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So it's not my business. Leave him be. <laughs> right. So. I switch it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right. Um, it's been a lot of shortages of stuff. You know, a while ago it was a shortage of the Similac. Yes. Uh, with everything. And now it's a tampon shortage. And I don't understand. I don't understand either. I know, and this is thanks to Kyra for helping me out, Kyan. Um I don't, I don't, I don't get how. You have a tampon shortage. That's what it is. Because it's like. paper. It's paper. And I, I mean, if you can still make toilet paper and tissue, and you got cotton, I'm plastic. I'm not understanding. What are what are the materials that's not like in I, real life? I don't get it. So it is one out there. And shelves are empty. Uh, I don't know what has happened, but I think this is craziness. Uh, so now. You can't use tampons. You can't have milk, but you can't get abortions. 
I don't understand what's going on with stuff with women. You know right what? Now. I didn't even put those two things. You, you can't. So why are we go have these babies? But, but maybe they and, push it. Right and the gas is high, so you probably ain't gonna be running around. Right. If I'm seeing you, we see you so for the whole weekend. So they're trying to get us to make babies, huh? Hmm. Because if if you're pregnant, you won't need a tampon. You won't. You will not need a tampon. But you might need, uh, oh, they just said it's a shortage of cotton. How is it a shortage Where? of cotton? Where? It hasn't been a drought and it hasn't grown. Probably because they have opened up the gates of Amazon and Amazon will send you anything, clothes, everything. So maybe they use like, the cotton off of Amazon. Amazon. Well, reduce the number of Q tips y'all making. Because we should not be using Q tips anymore. According to. All the professionals, we should not be putting cute so, I don't understand, but it makes no it. sense in all these rules and stuff that's going on. I'm just out there. You know, they started uh, the little hearing stuff about January 6th. Yes. And I just hope everybody that was involved is found guilty. But this is ridiculous. We cannot just storm the Capitol. So, we no. can't storm the Capitol. Mm, you are right. We can't storm the Capitol. We can't even go in and take pictures. So that's it. Any other uh, events that you had? Other events that we had? Um, I don't have any more. The, the, the finals. They are. And the last game was really good. Steph Curry, let me tell the you. The last game was a fluke. But his, like, I like the way he shoots three pointers. He is just awesome. I want uh, Golden State to win if you did not know. No. Why? No. I want Steph Curry to win. I don't know anybody on Celtics. I'm a fiend girl. I don't know who I that like, is. I like the Boston Celtics. So, Celtics, Golden State. Yeah. So, we'll be tuning in. Well, hello there, Michael. Well, hello. How are you? Great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are some things. The last topic that I got. What you got? It's so exciting. Groundbreaking. <laughs> what is it? I have four more days until work is over three more days with students and then a half a day for staff on thursday and then i am free free i'm f-r-e-e free <laughs> no more going to work school is over after wednesday half a day on thursday and i am excited Excited. God. If the weather is going to be really nice. Hey, Evie. The weather oh. is going to be really nice this week. So. Evie, we going to have to cheers so. to not having students. And then I start my new job July 1st. So I'm not going to really have a summer. But really? Yeah. Ew, that sucks. Mm. But hey, this week, According to according to the weather, it looks like uh, it's going to be a, almost 100 degrees on Wednesday. Ooh, I, mean, I, I go to work looking crazy. They might be like, oh, you don't even have to come back tomorrow. It's for, you listen, we crazy. dressing for the nighttime. We dressing for the nighttime on Wednesday. I will reveal that job next week or the end of this week. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the way you could be. We might go reveal it on here, though. I'll tell you. Yeah. So I don't want y'all to be turning this in to them people and say, look, she be drinking on TV. So that's all of my news. I'm ready to get this topic. Okay. I'm getting hot. Are you hot? Mm -mm. <sighs> I can't take it. Nope. Nope. Sorry, buttercup. All right. <laughs> well, let's start this topic. Um, hold on. I, I didn't erase, uh, edit the whole show. So okay. I'm going to let you get an introduction to this topic. Okay, so the introduction for this topic this week is we're going to have a discussion. Is it better to be single or in a relationship during the summertime? Mm. I mean, we all know that cuffing season starts around October when fall hits. Mm -hmm. So what did, are we? What do we do with the people that we cuffed up over the winter? Do we get rid of them or do we hang on to them? Like, what do we do? Are we just gonna be like, mm, I don't know? So yeah, we let's get started. We have our first guest here. Uh, let me bring him on. Yes, 
This is our first guest. We have Mr. Dante Darling. Um, I've been knowing Dante for almost 25 years. Okay. I'm going to say we were seniors in high school or like in college. So welcome, Dante. How are you, friend? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. All right. So, you know, I picked you because you gave an interesting uh, comment on my post on Facebook. So we wanted to talk, and we want a male's perspective. First, let's find out: Are you in a relationship or are you single? <laughs> that was like, oh. You good? You call? You call? But you know, uh, like I said, uh, you, you single until you single until, until you married. That's my perspective. Mm, very you interesting. Last name you single? You said what? Until you give someone your last name, you single. Now when. Now in society times, you know, you got to give someone a title before you, you uh, jump over the broom. But my perspective, you single till you become married. Okay. Ian is saying, back up a little bit. He said you super mm-hmm. close. Oh, my blow. My bad. Okay. Let, let, let him, okay. See, let, let the world see you. <laughs> okay, you, get, you good? You get, you, yeah, no, you, oh, yeah. Okay, stay right here. All right. So, with that being said, have you ever been in a relationship? Of course. Of course. Okay, so even though you are were in a committed relationship, you were still single. So you like Carisha and Diddy? Uh somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. It's it's a uh it's from a man's perspective. Uh, you know, until you get someone, like I say, until you get someone your last name, you sing you uh you dumb your stuff down to modern day times. Because you know, women would like to have that title, that have that that uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, et cetera, et cetera. But my opinion is, you single until you become married. That's why it's so easy to walk away if you don't have that ring. It's so easy to walk away if you don't have that last name. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. And I want you to hold that thought because we just wanted a little interlude, the prelude to uh, <laughs> get our next guest going. We are about to bring on our next guest. This is like the next contender here. <laughs> so we're about to bring her on, Miss Nicole. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> you want to do her introduction? So this is the fabulous Nicole, um, and she is a friend friend of the show and um she's going to give we're just going to go through you know what is what it's like to be in a in a relationship or a single in the summertime we're just here to have a little chit chat and see where do we all fall in terms of what we should be doing this summer because i don't yeah. like this idea <laughs> so we're gonna put you on the spot too miss nicole uh what? are you single or in a relationship i'm single Okay. Mm, yes. So are you like single like Dante single because you're not married or like single single? No, I'm like single like Dollar Bill single. Dollar like, Bill. That's, gotcha. that's, the, that's the right kind of single. See, Dante over there laughing. We, we got to make sure we understand where because we Because we got to make sure because it seemed like uh, Dante didn't let us into a little something. Mm-hmm. The man is saying that they single until they give their last name uh, to somebody. But are they okay if we take that same approach? Let's get into this. Yeah, let's get into this. Okay. All right. So, so cuddle buddies. You know, <laughs> we always talk about, you know, it's draft season, come like September, and by what's the holiday in October? Halloween. Uh, no, before the okay. flowers. Sweet as that. Sweet. He know. Yes. He out here tearing people up. See Look what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. he, he's yep. still single. Uh, then by yeah, Sweetie's yeah. Day, mm-hmm. we want to be have our cuddle buddy. We want to be booed up. For the winter months yeah. when it's warm, you need somebody to make your hot chocolate, to shovel your snow, and just to snuggle with. You are a true gem. <laughs> you are a I'm true trying gem. to make it uh, hot chocolate just for neighbor. <laughs> so, tell us, uh, what do we do after, like, when the summer hits? Are we getting rid of those cuddle buddies or are we keeping them? Depends well, on your investment. You said who? It depends on your investment. What they brought to the table in those few months before the summertime hit. If they brought, they added to your table, you keep them. If they took from your table, you get rid of them. Okay. 
So we are being we, cool, but you know what I mean, no titles. Are we doing this uh assessment like come springish, summerish, or do we do this assessment prior to? Assessment doing a doing doing the uh, interview process. Interview process October, November, December. If they after that 90 days, you get to know someone. After 90 days, you reach their representative. After 90 days, you know who they are. So by the time April, May, June come, you know, to keep them on uh, dump them. Well, I be dogged. All right. Uh, Nicole, give us your take on this. I am going to leave here with a wealth of knowledge. I couldn't tell you about, especially about, like, you know, having a cuddle buddy and doing all that. Like, I'm, I'm really particular about my space. And so, you know, I, by that time, shit, I bought a snowblower. So that tells you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Like, but, but like you said, most people, 90 days, you know, they, sh you, they show you who they are. And for the most part, like, I'm still single. So that says a lot about. But are we making it to 90 days? I'm sorry? Are, are people still making it to 90 days? No, they not. I don't, it I don't think they It are. depends on the age. It depends on your age, right? Depends on your yeah. age. You're in your 20s. They make it to 90 days. When you're in your, after 35, you know what you're looking for. You know what you want. You ain't for no games. You don't need 90 days. You get, you get 15 to 30 days. I like the 14-day money-back guarantee. I like that. <laughs> I don't have time. And I, and I see that um, DeMar said that single people can become a danger to themselves by putting up these walls. But it's not necessarily walls. It's just like, like you experience stuff and you see it in the next person. You're like, nah. The last time I saw that flag and I ignored it. Now I see it. I'm not going to engage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I'm reading Ashika's. Well, I know if someone is for me within five minutes, I don't be knowing nothing in five minutes. That's the time. That's she heard her opinion. I don't believe that. I don't you, believe that's, a, that's a representative. Five minutes. That's a representative. So lost, I'd be still trying to figure like, oh, he liked me. I ain't even know. Like <laughs> five minutes, you can't like we just learning each other names. Can I get at least two or three? Like you can tell what you really don't want, like deal breakers after a couple conversations, mm -hmm. or maybe that first conversation. But you may want to go out with somebody. You may go out with them four or five times, and that's six times. You like, yes, it'll be a no for me, dog. Right. Right. So that's you start seeing. That's how it works. Wait a minute, what happened? I said that happened to me recently. Like dating is like, okay, third, second, third date, great. That fourth date was like, nah, this ain't it. This ain't okay. it. So what did they do on that fourth date that made you realize that this wasn't it? I, for, for me, I think that like, when we first get to know each other, I think when you are dumping, and I call it dumping, because like it's a lot of emotional stuff that you like dumping off, like we just get to know each other. It's supposed to be light and airy at this point. Like if we on a fourth date and you tell me, you know, all these deep seated issues that you have, it's like, that's the turn off. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. if I don't, I don't have any drama in my house or in my life, period. And so if you come in with all this, do I want to get involved with that? Like, my, no, I don't, I don't. I think I think that's fair. Um, I think a lot of times us as women, we try to take on, you know, if somebody is going through a lot of stuff. We try to be there for them because we've heard so often that, you know, we abandon them or we don't know how to be there for them. But, you know, enough is enough. Like if, if I'm if I'm already oversubscribed, I can't give you nothing I don't have. I'm not trying to take on a burden. That, that part. That part. <laughs> Like, how, how you want me to be down for you when I, I just met you, sir? <laughs> nah, straight up. No? So, okay. So, I've just been going off. So, of, she listen, got real questions. So, so the topic, do you prefer, I'm just saying, she keeps us on top. Do you prefer to be in a relationship or single in the summertime? I, I'm, I'm just trying to get in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, don't I don't care what season it is. 
at least you honest. That's at least you honest. That's all we can ask. That's all you can get at. <laughs> it's true. It's it's for the birds, honestly. It you is. Know? It's it's for the birds. You know, some people have fun. I think that when you be, as you get older, like it's not as much fun because you have everything. You, you know, you you work you know every day, and you got responsibilities, a home, and you know stuff like that, and all that you know play is, is out the window. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, Dion Cole said, I got about 25 good summers in me. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. What'd you say? We had a blast. We had a blast for 20. <laughs> I got 25 good summers. Like this makes think... summers. Okay. Okay, Dante, what about you? I think some I'd rather be tied up in the summertime because you can do more things outside, get to know that person uh, a little bit better. You you don't have to keep track of time because everybody pretty much be off. Depends on their profession. You can do some horseback riding, go down some trails, look at the stars, lose track of time, or get, get more intimacy with that individual. Okay, all right then. Let me ask my co-host here: Do you prefer to be single or? I, I like to be in a relationship. I'm gonna go with the cold, no matter the season. <laughs> uh, but see, you gotta think about it. In the summertime, you can't. What if you want? It's a lot of weddings and events going to, or you want to have a date. Uh, you might just want to be doing fun. I want to do a vacation. Let's go to the beach. Let's do A, B, C, and D. So you know, you can hang with your girls at all times. But I would prefer to be in a relationship in the summer. I just like being a tarot out in the streets. I, I just enjoy being a tarot. I enjoy telling dudes no all summer. I do. I just do. Why? I just do. Because I want to tell the rest of them that's down closer to Shane Park no. And when I walk back up, I want to tell them no. And oh, let me just tolerate you. I need you to no. tell somebody yes so we can be on the boat behind Shane Park listening to the music. Why? Because then we don't have to worry about all the bugs. But I be wanting to contest one. I don't. I, I don't know. I just it to to Nicole's point. You know, twenty five good summers. I feel like I missed a couple of them summers. So right now I'm just having a blast, and uh, I feel like a relationship right now might be a little bit. Oh, God, dog! Ain't nobody tell you to come here and tell me. I'm. I'm keep going. Listen, I was glad but I, I listen. I just. I like to be. I like my space, and um, I'm a. I'm a private person, so I still scoot around a little bit. But I'm. I'm not here to be tied down and have no title. Okay. Uh, Dante, do you know Alby Fresh? Alby Fresh. Yeah, that's my homeboy from Twelfth Street One Two. Okay. That's my guy. Yes, my guy. He went to Century with me. That's my guy. Yeah, Twelfth Street. Honey, years. <laughs> Oh, okay, because he says that you out here lying because you be thotting. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's a trust street. You know, he got a thing with that niggas. You know, he all right. That's, he a good guy. That's my <laughs> guy. Nothing but, he a good guy. You know, that's what, man. He, he just, he just uh, making jokes for the, for the audience. That's my man, though, honey. I'm, I'm with DeMar. DeMar said, I'm a summer rental at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like an Airbnb. <laughs> oh man, that's a man. Some momento live. Like, hey, I need a date for this event. Wanna go? Yeah. Yep, we there. I got the clothes and everything. Come on. Just let right. me know in the van. So, Demar, you know she be lying. Right. right. No, she you sorry. already know. I'm gonna let somebody chase me, Demar. <laughs> I'm gonna let them pursue me. <laughs> Thanks, me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So um. So like back to what Dante was saying. What Dante was saying. He likes to plan things. He won't like that thing. Getting losing track of time. I ain't lost track of time in so long. You ain't been with the right person. I don't even know what that is. You ain't been with the right person. The conversation ain't been right. When that conversation right, you lose track of time. It. That's true. You can. That's true. Why is you don't when you when you watch it, worried about the time, you're not having a good time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, Dante is the master of lines. Y'all got to. Oh listen. my god! Come on. Yeah. 
Jones, don't do it like that. You gotta watch the time. You ain't having a good time. Look, and he was spitting them fast. He was like stargazing and horseback riding and riding up there. He got sand dunes. to listen close what? to this. <laughs> and now, Jones, so what, what point is it? You horseback riding the thought. Oh, no, I'm horseback riding. I'm walking oh, the trail, holding hands, looking your eyes while you look at mine. <laughs> this sound like a lion's den over there. <laughs> this sound like a lion's den over there. Because, uh, like, I think the only thing I really miss about being in a relationship is those night walks. I like night walks mm -hmm. and talks, stuff like that. That's, but... You don't mm -hmm. miss the daytime stuff? What daytime stuff? Like you can do stuff in the daytime. It's hollow sad. I'm like, like a I'm like a panther. I come out at night. Give me next question. Keep us on track, track, because I my question's about to be real. Um. Okay. So then, when is it too late to start? Uh, when is it too late to start entertaining a relationship in this season? Should I not be uh, pursuing new people around? March, May, like I, you know what? I honestly, I think it happens when it happens. There is like there's really no set timeline on that. Like you know, you you say like you don't want to be hemmed up and you know what I'm saying during the summertime, but if the right one come along, you'll be hemmed up. Mm -hmm. I will, and I'm not gonna say no to this person because it's because it's hot outside and it's it's keep checking all my boxes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like as if it's presented to you in the middle of July. Just go with it. I'm going to be like y'all when I grow up. Just go with it. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell him all type of stuff to get him down to August. Like, come on. Just stick to me till August. So when you ask Dante this question, take out relationship and just say situation. Okay. Because if you notice the last time when you was like, is it being a relationship in the summer? He didn't use the word relationship. He, he switched it up. So he's staying true to his form. So switch up the question a little bit. When is it too late to start a situation? Dante. Well, I think it's never too late to start a situation. It depends on what that person brings to your table. Because you already got your table made. You want to take your table. If you decide to bring something to your table that you add on to your table, that, that then y'all can have a feast. Then y'all can be like a flower and blossom together. I do. You know what? Then I tell y'all, y'all got to watch out. We're going to blossom together. I am. I don't know. You fertilize me, I fertilize I you. Oh, <laughs> Nicole, you got, a, you got a question in the comment. I, he asked. I said, I do. So, uh, Damar's trying to play matchmaker over here. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, Nicole wants a relationship. And Dante doesn't believe that a relationship is till you marry. Well, okay, let's do like this, Dante. Mm. Can I go off track? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you say you don't believe in a relationship until you have I'm the a relationship. I just said uh, in today's time, I think my opinion is you. everyone is single till they become married. Well, yeah, action on the flow. So when it comes to titles, yes, by law, you're single. Like, we Correct. are in a relationship, and, like, if you go to the hospital, like, I have no right to, you know, say as to your care, like that, stuff like that. And by law, yes, we are single. But when you are in a committed relationship, that's, you know what I mean, you, 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 playing, a, you playing a game here. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you know what it is. Don't play with me. <laughs> the question from the audience said they wasn't asking for him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, but he was talking about well, that, what, the, what the, the comment says. They was not oh, asking. Oh, well, sorry. I, I read that wrong. I do apologize, Demar. Mm. Who you asked? Get for? it together, hey. Oprah. Gail is paying attention. Mm. I am so sorry. Okay, what did David say? David said, "At this point in my life, listen, don't just enjoy, don't like me, enjoy me. Get out of here. We're not just having fun. Oh, you ain't seen this. What well, if you got a boo? Tell a woman, mm, y'all together, then you will be saying, 
Okay. I, I don't know. So he's saying like, if y'all say y'all in a relationship, if you say you single to her, then you gonna really be single. I, think I don't know. Are. Don't tell me we in no relationship because I'm I'm gonna put my shoes on, <laughs> put my shoes on. I'm gonna run. Don't just let, just She's go with. She's a track I'm star. a track star, a metal winner, a metal contender. Like so, just <laughs> go with. Just just keep me in the loop. Don't. Don't say, oh, you my girlfriend, because I'm like, <gasps> Okay, so Jackie wants to know, Dante, are you in a committed relationship? <laughs> oh, this the matchmaker show. Y'all asking the questions. <laughs> he said, you want to know my committed relationship. Uh-huh. Yeah, think about it. Huh? Yeah, think about it. He like, huh? Like, ain't no hold on. Carisha said it the other day. Ain't no hold on. Ain't no hold on, huh? Mm -mm. Jackie is ja Jackie. Jackie uh, is a special person to me. She, that's why she asked. I told her to tune in. So, so are you Answer in a committed relationship? It's a yes question. or no. You know, the Jackie Carisha out here. She like we go. We we go together bad. We go together right, we right, bad. Right. bad. <laughs> what is we? What is we? It's a, it's, it's a lot of turbulence right now. We got to find. Oh, come on, Sean. It's, it's, you said it's a lot of turbulence right now. We got the stock market is up and down, so we got to find that uh, that that title role. So is that a yes or no? Uh, it's, it's up and down. It's all of the above. She you know, you know two you years. He is all of the above. Huh? She say y'all. It's been two years. Well, Jackie, are you in a relationship with Jackie, her? you want to come on the show? <laughs> we're not, no, we're not going to have her on the show. I'm not about to put my homeboy out there like that, no. Ooh, Jackie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tell her to oh, be ashamed, the devil. My furniture moving. What you think you want to come on the show? <laughs> no, nope. we can have you on another show. Email us. Let me give you our email address. Jesus, the offense. Let me tell y'all about this perfect it's hair right never here. Never happened on our show. So, uh, <laughs> to get, to get it together, Dante. See, you did. We got to have another drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another drink. This, this has got good. For real. I need to go get a drink myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, 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 bring, I bring entertainment like this to shows. This is what I do. Oh. You are the, I like that. You are so the, like the, our hype man with this. You keeping us entertained. Are you not entertained? Today's price, not yesterday's price. You know what I mean? We moving up. You know what I mean? It went up. Oh, okay. had in studio. The perfect pair. We moving up. The perfect pair. <laughs> the viewer talks about Playboy. Don't let him see you sweat. <laughs> <laughs> they say go to commercial break. break. <laughs> 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 we had a sponsor this week. Oh, 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 we all we information I needed, man of God. What uh, is going on? Well, Jackie, let's say, let's talk about this. If it if it's been two years, Jackie, like two like constant years, like consistent. Yeah, consistent years. Uh have y'all ever had to talk a relationship? Talk to us, Jackie. Because we want to help y'all out because this is the summertime. And the whole point of Perfect Pair, y'all know I believe in love. She believe in love. I believe But in Jackie, love. if you want to go off a of drinks later and twiddle around town, we can hear. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk after this. We can talk. Uh let's 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 uh I'm get a question. Do... Hurry up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so uh Nicole. Mm -hmm. That nice sunlight over there. Uh, I kind of got a sidetrack. I need a question. Hold on. Okay. Um, no, we asked all them. No, we didn't ask about the actively dating. We did. Did we? I that's how we got. That's how we got where we are. Oh, did yeah. we ask them what's in the relationship? Well, well that's what we it is. got thrown off, and this never happened before. Oh, on the even... <laughs> okay, so in other news. So what what type of summertime activities? What type of summertime activities um do you like most in the city? Like doing doing with someone special. 
the next, like marriage next level? Oh, th these comments is Dante. Dante. We about to do an intervention, baby. We cannot be on here like this. We don't do we this. Don't. We have a dialogue, right? We have a conversation, right? Yeah. Right, so so let's, let's switch this. Okay, so um, yeah, hurry up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just too much. For so me. let's talk about Shane Park. So you know that's like a couple things and single things. So do y'all do concerts at Shane Park to call it Dante? Well, I really don't care too much of Shane Park like that. I go down there every now and then. I don't do it like that. But I look, I like doing the river walk though. I do downtown. We can we can walk downtown or something like that. We'll get on some bikes and ride the bikes or something, you know, okay. something like that. But as far as the concert setting, I really don't care too much around people like that, like that, you know. Oh, why why you don't like to be around people? I mean Shane Park, Shane Park said they be too hot, buzz. I don't like all that. You know what I mean? I do a concert inside the Foster Opera, uh, the music hall, or something like that in nature. Yeah. You know, as far as like Ashley Shane Park and all that, I don't care too much for the concert setting. That's just me personally. It's just, it's the atmosphere. You don't like that atmosphere. It's wild. It's wild. It is. I ain't gonna What lie. about you, Nicole? I'm, I'm with whatever. I'm like, I'm not hiding from anybody. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I, concerts, <laughs> Uh, the biggest storm out there. It don't matter. Y'all didn't send my pressure to a new level. Listen, I, I'm never at a loss for words. I'm never. Like, if, if somebody or, or even somebody that I, I, I talked to before or, or wants to talk to me, I'm just because I'm out with somebody else, somebody else doesn't mean like we're together. It's a date, you know, and, until I confirm what it is or what it isn't. It's a date. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all it is. Talking about to somebody else. Like confirming it to somebody else. Oh, I saw you. Okay. You want to take me out? Or what? What are we talking about? <laughs> we go block Dante. I mean, uh, Al be fresh off of this broadcast. <laughs> we are trying to make love happen right. And we, y'all, uh, we, listen. Uh, what is happening? I don't know. So, do you like going to the concerts at Shane Park with, Ooh, with a significant other? I do. You know me? Yes, you. Oh yeah, you it's, asked them. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. I got. I was reading the comments and then I was about to ask Jackie a question. But I do. I, I enjoy it. Like if I'm having my blue drinks, I'd rather be blue drinking with a boo. So no, Demar, I'm not entertaining offers while on a date. That's disrespectful. I would never do that. I would never do that. But just because you're out with a guy doesn't mean it's a date. Y'all can be like best friends. I know. That's that's but you but you can also when you're on a date with somebody and when it's, when it's your boy, it's it's a different vibe. You yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? You you see it. I have been out with a male friend like a best friend. Mm -hmm. And if a guy starts talking, he'd be like, we just here as friends, like, you know. Right. But if I'm on a date, I wouldn't be disrespectful. No. That's no. Would you entertain somebody while I'm on a date, Dante? No, I would not. That's very disrespectful. Well, if I'm asking on a date, I would never entertain no one. And I let that person know that it was rude and you never have you would never have a shot to do something like that. This young lady's with me on a date, it's not my friend. So keep it the moving. All right. Would you entertain people while in a relationship? I don't believe in a relationship. You said who? I don't believe in relationships. I believe in titles. I believe in uh, you're not you, you're single until you become married. I told you that. I was just getting clarification. Oh, Lord Jesus. So, in other news, is that some more peach? Can I have a piece of peach? No, I, I need to use, I use oh, all the peaches. All up. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's not, our comments is nothing like being with your friends at the concerts, just not a weirdo. Just not a weirdo. Is happening, G. Oh, okay. What? What? It's nothing like that. <laughs> Man, what, <coughs> what? What are you talking about? You okay? <coughs> Don't choke on this show. I was trying to read this Don't shit. Don't choke on this show. <laughs> no. Don't choke on this show. Please don't. A weird, just not a weird, <coughs> the weirdo friend. I'm lost. Yeah, explain later. Um. So yeah. Um. <laughs> this, this show has, I have been set up at. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, what do we, what have we learned so far? We learned 
that do not tell people about when you're being on the podcast if it's not clear y'all situation that is what we learn right here we learned that you are single until married with some people believe but you have to make sure the other person that you're single and with understands that okay We've learned that Nicole wants to be in a relationship in every season, in not every just season. summer. Because even though she has a snowblower, she wants you to use her snowblower and she's going to make your coffee or hot chocolate. That part. And she needs you not to tell her that you have all these mental issues by the fourth day. No, please don't. You know, <laughs> okay. she's still in that little honeymoon stage. We know Dante likes long beaches with by the beach with the horn. No. What? The drinks have kicked in. No, <laughs> they have long been. walks by the beach and horseback riding. Mm-hmm. I'm recapping what we've learned. We learned that it is possible for Tangerine and Marty to be speechless. <laughs> we have we learned have learned that. that today. It has taken 47 shows. 47, yes, but we have learned. That yeah, today we uh, we have learned that comments can surprise you. <laughs> yes, they can. And uh, we want to go into relationship counseling. Okay, and Lorenzo says that dating is ass for men right now. Anyway, these seasoned ladies are out here acting like city girls. <sighs> this one, this one, this one got to be on the show. This so is from the guy who. <sighs> be putting muscle pictures as profile pictures you acting like city girls so are boys guys city boys be city boys. because if we were in relation if they were in relationships they wouldn't have to do that because they're not able to find a compatible partner let's not blame it all on women oh Everybody's at fault. Everybody's at fault. We gotta get back. The, the wheels are falling off of the perfect pair. No, Damar, they're not falling off. Just sometimes we just live life. We show y'all that we're normal. This is a you live know. situation. Y'all thought we were perfect just because we're the perfect pair. <laughs> this, listen. So, uh, with, shut up, Greg. With those, with so those let's get back to uh, dating or single. Uh, do you find yourself having like more? friends in relationships or more single friends and does that influence how you feel like that you should be um for me it's uh i think it's 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 even like i have you know married friends or committed relationship friends and i have single friends so and then we all hang out so it's not necessarily like i mean it's it's the same you, do you mind going around your relationship friends being single? You say what now? Do you mind going around your relationship friends being single? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Because yeah, he, his friend might, I mean, her dude, dude might got a friend. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Tell okay. your friends or tell my friends. All okay. Right. All right. We can if, 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 like, if my friend has a good guy, more than likely his friends are good guys. Do you see what I'm saying? So, you know. The assumption is. So, Dante, what about you? Do you have more friends that are in relationships or married or, you know, those situations or that's just flat out single, single? It's half and half. I got married friends. I got relationship friends. I got friends that's single. You know what I mean? But, you know, it depends on, uh, like, you know, Super Bowl. Some people come couple. Some people come single and mingle. Uh, you know, prime, send off the primes. Some come couple, some go single. You know what I mean? It depends on the criteria of the event. You know? Okay. Do you find yourself when you're with your friends that's in relationships, marriage situations, that you want to be with somebody at that time, like bring somebody to be around them, or are you okay being, like, single? It, it depends on what they in their relationship. Like, we go bowling, we coupled up. They, they, we, get that, we get that bar break, that bathroom break. I can't stand her ass right now. You know what I mean? I'm glad I, I say I'm glad I'm single. Then he's like, man, I'm so in love, man. I can't wait. Well, you about to go such and such next week on a vacation. Then I'm like, damn, I wish I was in. You know what I mean? Depends on the atmosphere. Depends on where they at in their relationship at that moment of time. Depends on where we at. Depends on how your input would be on. Hmm. Got you. 
What about you, Nicole? She just answered that. Oh question. yeah, she did answer. I'm sorry. See, you got distracted. I did. <laughs> I got distracted because he was like, it was like he took on the the uh behavior, not the behavior, the attitude of the people that were around. Like, how that she work? Did not you like me? <laughs> no, I don't even want no right. words to that now. I think when you're used to being in a committed relationship, you miss the companionship, and that's why a lot of people jump from relationship to relationship without healing. That is true. Um, three. Yeah, um, and, and that's a, you know a lot of people don't think they do, but they really do. You need to time to be by yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? To yeah. get off all that whatever you have with that other person, get that up off of you. Because my family, my family saying it's like, don't walk in my house with dirty shoes. Basically, oh. and like you carrying shit from your last relationship over into it over here because you ain't finished cleaning it off. If y'all broke up last week, like, like the thing with um old boy in Atlanta just got killed. If yeah. we broke up last week, I'm I'm listen, it takes I need to get all I don't wanna no text, no talking, no seeing, none of that. I need a I need time. Yeah. I need time to get myself back together. Like she there's no way I would have somebody in my bed a week later after we broke up. No, no, That's and you spending the night. First of all, you wouldn't even be at my house. No, no, you wouldn't no. even be at my house. like that's that's wild to me. Like, no, but people don't give themselves time, they think they don't need it, or like you may have been checked out mentally out of the relationship, but you're still in it. Yeah, so you're still doing the day to day and whatnot, what have you. And when y'all finally, the person finally move out. Or like, okay, she moved out Thursday. Now you out in the club trying to meet somebody on Saturday. No, it's not. Nah, bro. Give yourself some time. It, 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 what's for you is for you, and you'll run into it. I promise you. Yeah. I, mean, I ain't ran into mine yet, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. We, got, we feel you. We no, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. But see, and then, yeah, it, uh, it, it is. It is coming. And just yeah. be and I hate when people be like, I hate the cliche stuff. Be patient. When you're not looking, it's going to come. I don't know. I don't know. I think I didn't gave, I'm not saying I think I didn't gave up hope on all men, but this bunch here, I'm just waiting on the next batch. Yeah, this they, bunch is. They be, they be lying. They extra. You just can't trust them. I'm done with this batch. I am. Yeah. It depends on where you go to find that batch. You know, women got to start holding themselves accountable for, for where they uh, hang out at to get these type of people. But what if it's like you not even looking for What if they come up to you and Meyer? Y'all might be shopping and even Marcus and they come up to you. You don't have to necessarily go to the club or the bar well, to find them. That's very true. But you can't, if you if you, if you natural beautiful and natural got natural beauty, people, guys want to trap. We natural hunters. That's what we do. But you as an individual got to have concernment and pick up on negative vibes. You know what it is. So when you, as a woman, have that concernment, you can weed out all the, the riffraff. That's my opinion on that. But sometimes you don't see that riffraff in the beginning. It's not going to present itself as riffraff. That's, that's when the concernment comes in. Believe it or not, men go through the same thing because a lot of women be out there taking initiative, hitting on men nowadays. And men got to have that concernment as well. And I'm going to tell you, let me tell you something. So... And I and I I have this discussion with my male friends like a lot. Like when I go out, nobody talks to me. Nobody. Nobody. I can be just as friendly. Hey, how you doing? Smiling. Nobody talks to me. And one of my friends told me. He said because the way that you look and you carry yourself, they automatically assume you have somebody. That I've been told the same thing. So that's true. Them, so I'm I'm. I'm shot out the gate, like <laughs> yeah, because you know what, Nicole? It's like you don't you say don't go out here dressed like a but, city girl. Don't you know, go out here my forehead saying I'm single. Yeah, like, good. You know what I'm they saying? Tell, they tell you don't go out here half dressed. Don't go out here overselling yourself. So you don't do that. So then automatically they say, oh, she must be taken. No, I'm not taking. I'm I'm coming out respectful, but ain't nobody saying nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna tell you like this from experience. If a real when you in the presence of a real man, a real man would still approach you because we're not intimidated by how you look and how you dress. 
If you don't have nothing on your finger, a real man with confidence will come and approach you and ask you, how you doing? What's your name, et cetera. Then let you iterate. I'm a got somebody. Thanks for, I appreciate the compliment and keep it the move. Or I'm married. I just don't believe in wearing my ring, whatever the case may be. If you don't have nothing on your hand and they don't approach you, that means you intimidate them in a way that you don't need no guy like that. No way. He lack confidence in it within himself. So they doing you a favor. And I, that's true. I, I do agree with that. I, I do agree with that. I do. But at the same time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, like, Don't go to those establishments again. Trust me. Don't go to those establishments again. Because I don't have no problem approaching a woman. Don't have nothing on their finger. I'm not a, I'm not a bar person. Like, that's not, I, that, that ain't my, that ain't my move. I'm a, I'm a foodie. So I go out to restaurants a lot. Um, <laughs> But bars are not my thing. I they're just not. You don't gotta be a bar. It can be Walmart. It can be Myers. It can be Costco's. It can be a rest. It can be anything. It don't gotta be. It can be a walk in the park with you and your friends. It can be anything. But if, if, if a man don't approach you, if you have none in your finger, you don't need that man no way. If he already assuming you a certain way, the way you dress, because he already intimidated by by your presence, and you need a man, not a boy. Think about that. I trust. I have. You, and I, I, so. no, I'm, about to, I'm about to jump in. So you just put something up there, Chuck, that said approachable. Do do we feel that we look approachable? And I'm going to say something. One day I wasn't even thinking I was just standing up mm -hmm. and like had my hands on my hip. I was in deep thought or something. I don't know. And somebody walked up to me and was like, are you upset? And I said, no. They was like, with your hands on your hip, you don't look approachable by me. And it was from a man. I was like, I'm just thinking, and this is just natural behavior for me. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, do women, do we look approachable to guys? Or do we have like RBF all the time? I know I got RBF all the time. <laughs> it, depends on, it depends on the setting. But like I said, by me being a communication major, I know how to uh, react to nonverbal behavior. By your hands being on your hips, like you said, I already imagine me personally know that you probably is in a deep thought thinking about me. And if I don't see nothing on your hands, if your fans ain't cuffed, if I see your fingers, I still approach you like, and ask you something like, is you, am I th is you thinking of me or something? You say, no, I'm thinking this and that, and I can start a conversation, et cetera, et cetera. I won't automatically think you're not approachable. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so maybe the men just have a hard time communicating. Very, very, very. That, but again, that's being a communication major. I understand the nonverbal communication skills of women and men. You know what I mean? So I don't have no problem with approaching them as such. Are you are you as skilled as fully communicating yourself, communicating to other people? <laughs> Look at Miss Jones. This girl good. Read body language and stuff. But are uh, you able to communicate fully to other people <laughs> so they understand they the communication talk. that you're trying to communicate? I'll tell your mama, Miss Jones. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I think oh, something I'm happened. Watching it. I think something happened in the decoding part of the communication model. Is the message and then the interpretation and the part that came back. It didn't. It didn't match. But we we, we don't revisit that. You know, we don't revisit. Don't. We don't revisit um, that. So. Women don't know how to flirt anymore. Don't say that. Don't say that. I got a PhD in flirting. Well, Dante, Crystal has, oh, I'm sorry, I said Crystal. Jackie has something for you. It says, then, well, what's up with you reading my body language and heeding to what my concerns are? This is for Dante, question mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Oh, my goodness. So did you read her body language? What did it say, Dante? Let's talk about, let's get into this. Let me put you on the big screen. Put him on the big screen. Let's get into this. Because all eyes on you, Dante. Sorry, uh, Nicole, give us a second. Feel uh -huh. Go ahead. Any questions for Dante, because we are about to handle this with him and Jackie. Live. Since he's a communication major, and Jackie got questions. What, <laughs> what did her body language say, say to you? you. Her body, language, her body language says a lot. You know, what I mean, she's a good person. She's a good woman. You know, her body oh, language says. Uh -uh, let him talk. You know, it just, it just. Uh, society ways of thinking and my way of thinking, with uh, like, tangles up our communication a lot. You know what I mean? So, like I said, we don't revisit 
these questions again, of course, and we'll get to the bottom of it to get back on one accord if we can. So my thing is, well, you said a lot without saying anything. Not so, at all. You never answer what did her body language say. So can you just answer just that question without giving us like extra? We want you to go for the bullseye, not the red line on the outside. Just go right in for the 100 point target. That's what we want you to hit. Nothing else. What did her body language say in action? Communication more. Communication. Tell you how I tell you how how, how I feel. Communication. End of the day, her body language is communication. Communication, communication. So her body language said communication more, Dante. Is that what her exactly. body language <laughs> exactly. exactly. Is that what your body language said, Jackie? What I had wait, what I have, I've been telling you I need from what so what did she tell you she need from you? What do you need from him? She brought it here to the perfect uh -huh. What's that who? I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Demar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what what does she need from you, Dante? So we can we trying to get this together because we want people, if it's possible, to be the perfect pair. And we don't know, as you are a God fear man, and I see, I hear she's a God fearing woman. Yes. So, and what God says, and what God has put together, let no let man, no man tear asunder. So. What has she said that she need from you, Deacon? You gonna go there, huh? Too okay, okay, Miss. What's the this week? Let me, you uh, let me see. More of a, more of a, uh, what's that word? More of that, uh, the, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? That, 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 that. You know, I'm, I'm real, I'm real hard. What I mean, like, I don't. I don't care to be like we walk in on like all that kissing stuff, all that type of stuff. Affectionate. She's like more of affectionate. You know what I mean? I'm not really a this person. I can I can show my love without with with a hundred percent perfection. I'm like a seventy five percent perfection affectionist. You know what I mean? So, so she need that hundred percent affection. More affection from you. Exactly. 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 Well, so are you using your words to let her know that you're not as affectionate as she wants you to be? No, it's like it's like if you come over to the crib or something, I open the door and I go back and sit down and watch. No, I go back and sit okay. down and say. Giving you a hug, and kids, all that, not other other extra stuff. You're like, you know what I mean? It just Did she tell I mean, you that's what she wants or needs. I said, did she tell you <laughs> that's what she wants or needs? I know when this thing is frozen. And, and, and so and so many and so many words, but you know what, what I mean. Was it the words? I need mean, more things. <laughs> Did she say that? Because she said, but you want me to give it to you though. So she's telling you what she wants, and you tell her, but she giving you what you want, and you not giving her what she wants. It's called reciprocity. Say it with me. Say it one more time so I can say it right. On this side, I'm giving. On that side, you get. I like that word. I like that word, but it, it's more to the situation than that. It's not. It's not strictly that. You know what I mean? So like I said, we 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 would address those issues when it when it when they come about when it's time. But Trust they came me. About. Hold on. Oh, he don't want to talk. Wait. Jackie, Jackie, yes. and he will do it for a little bit, then he stop. You say you want to be married, but you can't even say you want a relationship for two years. Say it. Friend, let's let's talk. This is this is you. <laughs> friend. Oh my I don't know how to drink the water or the alcohol right now. I don't know what y'all should be doing. So y'all been in a relationship for two years, and you said you want to be married, friend. And she told you she you you told her that you was gonna be on this podcast today, and guess what she did? She came and tuned in because she wanted to support you. I wouldn't have tuned in, but go ahead. And she, I would have. I would. If my I got stuff to do. man, who I'm in a relationship with, and just finding out he's single, I watched it later. Told me to watch it. I would have been watching it. So, friend, what's going on? Come she in your her. corner. She in talk your corner. Her. I would like to be. Married. I would like to be married. I would like to be married one day. Would you like to be married? Yeah, marriage, is, marriage, is, marriage is the ultimate goal. Marriage is the ultimate goal. Would you like to be married to Jackie? I'd be married to Jackie. Now you're just being bold, just throwing names like this. I mean, she's she's no, Jackie, she's Jackie, Jackie, no, Jackie, Jackie, a good person. She, 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 she's marriage material. She's married material. She's married material. You know what I mean? 
is she's Deacon Dante T. Darla's type of marriage material. Yeah, she yeah she can be that. She can be that one day, you know. If, if, if everything if, if everything plays itself out, you know what I mean. If everything she right now she's at the table, she's at the table. But you know what I mean. We gotta uh, we gotta pick and choose what we gonna have on our table or not. You know what I mean. I lead the table. If she's willing to uh, sacrifice what she brings to the table and leave what's on the table that I bring to the table, then okay. You know I mean, again, that's my uh, perspective. That's my opinion. So you know what I mean? Is she the only one at your table? Of course. Yeah, I yeah, know. she won, baby. You yeah, said what? Won, baby. Yeah, only one person at the table at a time. You don't okay. entertain other people at your table. Okay. I mean, it, it, it may be guests in the house, but nobody at the table. You know what I mean? <laughs> How do I get off this show? How do I get off this show? So, How do I get off this show? Have you ever invited people to this table? Never. If somebody, okay. if somebody, if somebody at the table, you don't invite nobody at the table. There's so only, only room for one more person at the table. So she's she's been the only person at your table for two years. Okay. Yeah. 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 But he. But. Take it back now. He said people were invited to the house, but they ain't at the table. So I don't know what that means. What does that mean? You said what? What call? You, didn't you say it's like people are invited to the house, but they're not at the table? No, I said people, people may be in the house. That means distractions. That means when you go out in public, people trying to hit on you that I know you in a situation or hit on you by uh by, by circumstance, you will let them know somebody already at my table. I'm straight. You know what I mean? That's what I mean by other people in the house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they not know they not I knowing mean, who at your table when they see you per se. I'm not going out trying to advocate or talk to discuss anyone else, try to invite them to my table when somebody else at the table because ain't enough room at the table. Because I got a lot of food already on the table. Well, okay. Oh, Jesus. 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 This is good. <laughs> <laughs> they say he brought the table at Craig's. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my trust for your homeboy. That's my trust for your homeboy. Hey, the right side of him in. His legs is getting weak. Jackie, we, we, Jesus taking the wheel and he going to take this damn table as well. <laughs> Please take the table. <laughs> Please take this table. It's wobbling. Off the table. <laughs> no, so let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some let's get let's be serious people come on let's get serious okay Oprah <laughs> so we got this table Dante's table that's right he is the only one sitting at this table correct, correct. Yes, yes okay okay we're getting somewhere we, we got there and you're saying at this table it's only Dante and Jackie at this table, correct? Yep. Okay, we there. Is there anybody in line to be next at this table? No. No. Okay. Woo! We solved the crime. Okay. We got reservations for two at this table only, right? That's right. Okay, uh -huh. so when you bring somebody to this table, what does that mean? That means that means you you you, you may be blessed to get this last name, darling. Oh, so it's been two years at this table. She's been sitting for a while. She sounds like she riding down right now at this point. And you don't, you don't ride it down two years. The first night, the first ninety days is a representative. So like like twelve months and some change. You know what I mean? She don't get no credit for time, sir. Uh, this is real life. This ain't this is real life right here. But if it's two years, ninety days is three months. So it's still twenty one months that she didn't put in after the three. That's very true, but you know, you gotta meet my credentials at my at my table. You mean criteria, and what are they? <laughs> what criteria? You know, be a god, god, god fearing woman. Stop, Jackie. Are you god fearing? Okay, go. What's the next one? A praying woman. Are you praying? She just said Jesus. She didn't pray. Time. She didn't pray for you. I know she didn't pray for you. Okay, next one. I know she did. Know how to cook. Know how to cook, Jackie. Can you cook? So one is uh God fearing, two is praying, three is can you cook? We got one yes so far. And know how to follow. 
and know how to follow. So we got four. So right now we two out of two. Let I mean two out of four. Uh, Jackie, we need two more answers. Can you cook and can you follow? Directions or what? What are we talking about? Follow up. Follow be, the and be and be and be a helpmate. And be a help. Be, so now you got five. Be a helpmate. Be my real. So do the do the criteria keep going up? Because right now she at three. We waiting for her other answer. Right now she four out of four. She's she, four out of four. She just threw in that helpmate. Okay, well, wait. The, the helpmate. You want me to be a helpmate prior to you giving somebody your last name? Let can we talk about Ori? You know you. Can we talk about see you about. with your chest, Nicole? You, you know said what? Kind? The helpmate prior. You want her to be a helpmate prior to getting your last name. So we got all yes. these extracurricular activities we have to do. She has to do prior to getting the darling last name. Yes, you gotta do that. It's like it's like moving in with someone. She can't move in with me. Ain't no, I'm not letting no woman live with me, move in with me until she have my last name. Ain't no shacking up. That's oh. what I mean. You got, we got, we have oh. separate dreams. Until you say, you, what does help me mean to you? What does help me mean to you? That mean any at any ventures I got on the table on the floor, you assist me once I bring them to the table and vice versa. Well, well, you, know, you, know, you want me to do white duties? As a person that you can't give a girlfriend title, cheers. <laughs> I was choked to death. Damn it! No, you, mean, you, you cannot. That's, that's why. That's why I said this. That's why I said it's my table. So before you get to my table, before you make it that far, you say, Dante, I can't. I can't settle for your table. You keep walking. You find your table that meets your your situation. You know what I mean? No must, no fuss. So let me tell. Let me ask you this. Talk to me, Miss Jones. Because. You're asking her to do a lot of things. And one thing that you're asking her is what to play the wife. Listen, just let me talk. You're lady. asking her Hold to on. play a wife role. And she does not have that title. She doesn't even have the title of a girlfriend as your woman. So you're asking her to do something that's out of character. But you're not giving her. What's your name? But she asked you for more affection and you said that you can do it from time to time because you don't feel like doing that bullshit when she come walking through the door. But you want her to cook. You want her to help you with your projects and all this other shit. I'm sorry, Dante. I'm not cussing at you. It's the situation I'm cussing at. You want her to do all this other shit, but you can't kiss and hug her when she walked through the door and you ain't seen her all day. And you can't claim her. And, and you talking about, you talking about this table? What is What you bring to this table? Let's go. And I know you, so I'm screwing as and everything you say. Let's go, friend. I bring a lot to the table. I bring a, a positive mindset. Are you bringing um, the affection she needs? Yes, I bring the affection to my understanding. I'm bringing the affection. Maybe now I can you do it. You said that you're not doing it 100%. If you say it from exactly, your mouth exactly. to God's ears, you said she wants affection, but I'm not giving it to her the way she wants it. She wants 100. I can do about 75. But you want her to help you with projects? In my mind, it's 100, but in her mind, it's not. You know what I mean? It's, it's a difference, you, you know. Gotta come together, you got to come together. The math ain't mathing right now. She said, Again, Everyone she have said, a right to their opinion. This is opinionated show, this opinionated it show. Is. At the end of the day, like I said, I stand on what I stand on at Dante's table. It's not up for debate, it's not up for discussion. At Dante's table, oh, shit. at my table, my wow. way. We deal with it. If you don't like Dante's table, you, you throw the chair back, you stand up and say, thank you for this ride. You go, you move it, keep it moving. At Dante's table, ain't no more dis ain't no discussion. You know what I mean? That's my table. They got a question in the audience. What's the question? I can't read. Are y'all fornicating? Well, of course, we hit every now and then. We hit, you know. We grown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nice watch, Nicole. This was, yeah, this was a beautiful episode. I thank you both that's for being here. That's really true. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um, yeah. Yep. I like your yellow. Your yeah. gold. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamar, don't take no pointers from this. He's awesome. he doing his table wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, got, he got us bewildered as fuck. Yep, yep. yep. Hey. I'm out. Spinning like a top right now. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, every, at the end of the day, everyone has their own table. That's true. I, I, I tell people like this, you want to be a villain in somebody's story, and you want to be a hero in somebody's story. In yeah. somebody's story, we are the villain. But in somebody's story, we are heroes. Just believe, just take that with you. All right. <laughs> they want to be a <laughs> Take it to the picnic. <laughs> take it back it up and take it to the picnic. <laughs> This has been one of the most emotionally driven shows I have ever had here. Dante. Yes, ma'am. You know, we've been knowing each other for about 20 years. I'll be throwing that like 25 years. I throw that out there because, you know. You ain't noticed it. I didn't know. I did know. But, I mean, I didn't know with the way he, I don't know what I knew. Uh <laughs> But I'm just saying, would you be would you be okay if we had Jackie on the show one day? Oh, you can do what you do. This is your show. This is what it's about. About the rest. We're gonna have a today, love segment. This is what I do. I add I add to wherever I touch. That's what I do. Congratulations, uh Tanch and Margaret. Congratulations. I'm happy to be in the city. Thank you. We appreciate your help. Like you, you've done wonders. We uh, is our table still standing? Our table. This is a good table I got here. Uh, this and then my table. You got to bring liquor. This good table. I I I'll be bringing the food. I got a yeah. pizza got after pizza. this. this is there any more crown? Can we? Yeah. Can we just have one more? And we're gonna be off the show. So we did. Yeah. Uh, so and make it. Don't put. Make it a little stronger this time. Uh. So Nicole, we're gonna have you back because I, I feel bad. Hey. We're gonna have you back. This is cool. We are. We sorry. This went. We did not expect it. We to go did not way. see this. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> but this is at the perfect pair. It's real life, people. This is real. This is what you I'm get. Right. Next time, too. You said who? I'll make sure I have a drink next time. What? You know we drink at every show. I, well, I, you know, I was rushing. You know, I had to come back from Clarkston to make you know, do this show. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for being, you know, and Yep. So uh we thank you, uh Mr. Dante. Um thank you, Ms. Jones. for yeah. being a guest on our yeah. show and for being so honest and we, open. Yes, we thank help him Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Dante is Mr. Clark with women. Huh? I don't get it. What? Joe Come on, Clark. Come on, Joe Clark. Clark. Come on, lean on me, Clark. Joe Clark. Clark. Chain of doors. The enemy is near Joe Clark. I don't get it. Oh, he got a no. I don't get it. Do you get it? No, I don't get that one. When do you get your part two? Tomorrow. I keep telling Marty, we're going to have the five love languages. Yeah. And we, we want Dante to tune in so he'll know how to love people the way they want to be loved. That's an opinionated topic. Everybody get love different. Everybody have that own. If we ask everybody what's love, all of us have a different opinion but on love. I said you love people how they want to be loved. You can if you love them the way you want to love them, they may not receive it and consider it love is because right. it's not what they receive. So that's true, she, you got me. She, I got you. So listen, you if she needs affection and she likes a lot of affection, you have to think in your mind. If this is a woman I want to move on with, I got to give her all the affection she needs. You said she a good woman. You said it. She wasn't. She was the only one that was at your table. You said it wasn't a line at your table. You ain't been inviting nobody else to your table. So if she is the one, you got to decide if what she needs, you willing to give. Because if you just do what you want to do, then she's not going to receive it. It's never going to work, even if it is at your table. Because she's going to tell you how to sit in which fork to use at your table. So you got to be ready and open for that. Hello? Somebody listening to me out there, can you turn to your neighbor and say love languages? Love, love. love them how they want to be loved. Shake your neighbor's hand and give them a dap and say, this church session has come to a close with the deacon. I would ask you to lead us out in prayer, but we not. So with that being <laughs> said, good people. We want to thank our lovely guests <laughs> for making this so exciting. So uh, Dante and Nicole, we appreciate y'all. Um, Lorenzo is giving you hope and saying dark skinned brothers get second chances. Uh, oh, so neighbor, thank you, Ashika, for turning to your neighbor. Uh, let me stay focused. 
Thank you. Thank you. So we thank y'all for tuning in today. This has been a great show. This you never know what's gonna happen on the perfect pair. Shoot, share this stream, everybody. Please so share. Then, make sure you are subscribing to Tangerine and Marty on the perfect pair on YouTube. So just go to YouTube and type in Tangerine and Marty. Uh what else I gotta say? Go Until ahead. Until next time. Remember, it's still germs out there with this pandemic. Do what you can. Wash your what hands. You put your mask on. Whatever you need to do. Um, they offering second booster shots. So just do whatever you can to keep I'm yourself getting, safe. I'm not getting a, uh, and, um, a second booster. We but, will see you all. But I don't even know what this Bible verse is. Answers are in the words, guys. So let me go to... Because she didn't drop two Bible verses in there. She had, oh, so she is a woman of God. That's what she said. Yes, she said she a praying woman 13, 4 through 7. I didn't roll it down, Jesus. I'm about to turn to my baby with my phone. Y'all have a good night. Demar, we're going to have you on. Nicole, we're going to have you back. Not take, we might need another two. Jackie, we're going to see you later. Make sure you email us, Facebook us, do something. Jackie, we need this entertainment. We love y'all. And y'all, God bless. Good night. And uh, see y'all next time. See y'all next time. <laughs>